do? Let's uh, think. Where was I supposed to go next? Mm. Mm. Was it ranked up next? I don't think it was. Uh. Oh yeah, I ranked. Yeah, I ranked up. I don't think that there is any like rank up. It just uh, randomly shows a new rank name when you, whenever you get some points in the game. I mean, because we got Hoser twice already. Such a swagger. I wonder if swagger is actually one of the ranks. Could be, you know. Mm. Mm. I need to go to Quickie Mart just yet. Let's go over the street. The Brown Derby. This place has been closed for years. He's in desperate need of blocking. Nice Derby had Swamp's Drugs. Swap's drug store has everything a guy like you might need. Condoms, condoms, and headache pills. The Multolita. Yeah, this is what we were looking for. Open! You're in front of the world renowned rodeo drive Italian clothing purveyor, Multolita. Which pretty much means a lot of money. Perhaps they could cash a million dollar bill. You've never been able to afford anything in there. Perhaps now we can because we had the one million dollar bill. Don't you ever say welcome to me again. Oh, I'm sorry, game. I was just trying to look at the welcoming mat. That is right below his feet. Uh, I think this is where we can go. Nice looking place. This place may be overpriced, but at least it's gaudy. There's a sale sign on the real wall. Swimsuits, half price. Hmm. Sounds good to me. It's painting on the wall. Yeah, it just says the same. Uh, can I look at the mannequins? If I can type. Evidently, while decorating the store, cost was no object. And also no help. Can I right click on things to look at them? Nope. Doesn't work in this version. Look, lady. Behind an unbelievably beautiful imported Italian marble counter stands an unbelievably beautiful imported Italian clerk. Nice alliteration there. Very nice. Good job. You find Italian women sexy. Yet again, you find any women sexy. Larry? You're an idiot. Look, swimsuits. Wait a minute. These swimsuits are marked down to half price. Only $100,000. With your newfound wealth... You could afford that little blue bikini job hanging there. She's tapping her fingers. I guess that is to show that um, she's getting impatient. Can I look at the hand? It appears you are boring the beautiful lady. <coughs> okay, let's uh, get the swimsuit that we saw. You select the reasonably tight spandex job in blue. Although it's cut a little tight, perhaps that may work to your adventures on the ship. In fact, this may be the beginning of a whole new nib image of for you, Larry. We are a Shlamil. Shlamil. Excuse me, miss. Uh, do you have change for a million? Well, I will not, but of course. But is that the reveal little clearance item all you, all you are going to purchase today? That is a horrible accent. Yes, ma'am, you reply, handing over your lottery winnings. I've got a, oh, I've only got a million on me. How pricey are these items in here? 
Alright, that will be $106,500, including tax, your charges, $893,500. That's $100, $200, $300, $400, $500. Stop! Don't count anymore! I don't have that long before my ship leaves. Very well, sir. Have a nice day. How did you know she was going to say that? You can't get your new gigantic wad of $100 bills. I'm a dork. So I got a cruise ticket swimsuit and what to do. Let's look at the wad. Is that hundreds, hundreds of hundred dollar bills in your pocket? Or are you just glad to play this game? Just wait until you're on that ship with the lovely bachelorette. <laughs> I know there's a rag of swimsuits. So I'm trying to look at that swimsuit that we already have. You just love the feel of cheap spandex. Don't we all? Makes us all feel like a superhero. Now, uh, let's see. <laughs> this place looks like it belongs in Space Quest 4, the Coarse Gold Encounter. That's not what it's named. But still, it does look like a scenery. That actually... Can I actually look at the plane that's in the air? Stand here long enough and you get the feeling he's practicing touch goes. And also, the building in the background, it looks like the building in the beginning image of Impossible Mission 2 from Commodore on Commodore 64. At least it looks like it to me. Is there any joggers in here? You make a vow to get more exercise. I'm a dweeb. Right after you back up your hard disk. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Okay. You can see the jogger in the background there. That little black line. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're back here. There's a lot of trash here. How about we do some uh, trash, uh, you know, diving? Did you ever say trash can? Okay, let's look at the trash. Who would want to search through a Eve's can? <sighs> okay, okay. Searching through the trash until your suit turns off white, you discover your passport stuffed between the pages of an old Cosmo. You now smell like a combination of cheap department store credit card bills and roadkill. Gotta love that smell. You were so smart to delve in Eve's can. Yeah. So, where do we go next? Where do we go next? Over the street. Oh, my rank is Dullard. Interesting rank name. Why, that must be Unreversal Studios. See what you did there. Ha 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 ha! Very punny! Hey, 
Harry Reams, huh? Gee, isn't Harry Reams that famous Hollywood barber? Maybe he could help you with your hair problem. What do you mean, what problem? I was talking in Larry's own voice, making fun of him. Well, I'm sorry. I was just trying to look at the swirly post and make Larry hypnotized. Might have worked. Well, let's just go in. Oh, come on. Are you going to just stop the music there? Really? Don't all barbershops look the same? Well, not with this one. We got boobs in here. You don't know much about art, but you know what you like. Uh, good day, monsieur. May I help you? Boobs are good, man. Yep. Boobs are good. How about a quick styling? Oui, monsieur, but of course. Allow me to correct the reciting of... The airline of yours with my patented special proprietary technique. Macrobiotic styling reviving. Just have a seat in the chair, please. Here, take a look at this mirror and uh, remember what you look like. When I'm done, you won't be able to recognize your own airline. Why, you'll be a different man! So that's Larry, huh? Not the most good-looking man in the world, I have to say. Yeah, this is exactly what I need. And you look. I'll make Bachelor Barbie change her tune. Okay. Go for it, you tell the barber. Allow me to begin with a thorough cleansing or rid your air and scalp of any possible pollutants. I assure you, I use only the trendiest products, only org organically grown and available only in undersized, overpriced, biodegradable bottles. <laughs> What will I look like when he's done? Will I be handsome? Will I ever find true love? Yeah, sure, Larry. That's exactly what you're going to look like. Well, he's having some very nice dreams. You certainly have interesting daydreams. How is he seeing them? They're supposed to be in your mind, you know. Hey, brothers, get out of here. Your air is clean and conditioned. Now for the special styling. However, in the future, may I recommend 10W40 and no more than 3,000 miles between oil changes. It, it, look like, it looks like the barber is actually scalping Larry. All done. Take a look in this mirror. What do you think? Hey, it looks exactly the same. Oh well, you can't judge a book by its cover. That'll be that. Uh, that'll be fine. You tell the barber. Say, exactly how could I know if I was getting a macrobiotic styling? By the price! Of course. That'll be under bucks. 
Thanks, I guess. Flipping the barber one of your C notes. I know what I would like to flip it. Have a nice day. Yeah, screw you too, charlatan. That guy did nothing. Seriously, he did nothing. Larry looks exactly the same as before. You are now in a slightly seedy section of the city. Yeah, things look great right here. I mean, we got graffiti on the wall and uh, barely standing walls. It says lots of dirty stuff, all of which you already know and therefore don't need to read here, in a family-oriented product such as this. <laughs> Family oriented. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Penis, 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 penis. Uh, it really, it should have had that in the end. In, you know, in brackets, it would have sent penis, penis, penis. Yeah, family oriented game. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh boy. So, here we go. Drugstore, that's exactly where I wanted to go. What if there we see, look at the uh, signs. Even in Hollywood, they're having trouble moving New Age gear. They make more computers entertaining, etc., etc. Mm hmm. Nice slogan for a drugstore. Tell me that you didn't play this as a child, too young to play this. No, I'm not. De definitely not. I was definitely over 18 when I played Leisure Suit Larry games. Mm, de definitely. <clears throat> yeah, try our new channeling powder. Yeah, I, I think that's what it reads there. Yeah, you cannot read the uh, text on these, which is a shame. It would be nice to know what they say, or what they're supposed to say. By the sign of the druggist's counter, you presume the druggist is out. Only a clerk remains, and he doesn't look too bright. Yeah, it looks like the uh, you find some women sexy. I wish this was more too. <sighs> oh, Larry. Only got one thing in mind, huh? -uh. It's just as it appears. Just say no. Okay, just say no to drugs. The heck you say? <laughs> Okay, let's see. What was this? Uh, uh, bookshelf. There's shelves filled with sundries, but you see sundries, but you see nothing that seems useful. How about this? Nothing. Say a bottle of the sunscreen might be handy on the South Pacific. Yeah, that's a, that sounds good. Sunscreen. I think it's here. Nope. How about here? Oh, I grabbed it. Oh, okay. Got it already. My rank is now slug! Is it a spa mutated space slug? I wonder if we can get some message. SPF-90 should protect you from something. Yeah, I wonder what that is. I'd like to pay for this. Do, do you have change for a hundred? 
Nope, but feel free to give me a big tip. But of course, my good man. You tell him suddenly putting on airs. Have a hundred, in fact have two. Money means nothing to me. It should, Larry. Like, thanks, dude. Now let me go back to sleep. He can close with a familiar. Have a nice day. I am at work now. When it comes to sexy women, he finds them mildly attractive. Possibly. But I think but it has already been established that he finds every woman attractive. Just say no to prescription drugs. Exactly what it's saying there. Uh, where was that Quickie Mart? I think it was straight north from here? Was it? I think it was. Should be right here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> quick e mart, quick e mart. Open 24 hours. They got wine, they got beer, they got uh, stuff. I don't need to look in here anymore again. Let's fill up the cup. A cup that large might take a long time to fill. It usually does. A cup that large might take forever to fill. Finally, you top it off while you carefully consider how you're going to pick it up. Use your hands? Ah, shucks. This isn't in real life, but merely an incredible simulation. You decide to put it in your pocket, along with everything else. You see? And there it goes. Adventure Game Heroes. They have bags of holding in their suits. Clever. I wonder, we haven't gotten any deaths yet, because I haven't done anything that would cause a death. So... let's uh, see... If I don't pay for the cup... Let's see what happens. Suddenly the woman behind the counter comes to life. Hold it right there, partner! You ain't gonna rustle no soda off me! Holy crap, she just shot Larry. And she also put on a hat. Yeah, you're the one dead coke sucker. Enunciate carefully, please. Well, Larry, you screwed up again. What do you say we do it just one more time? Keep on muddling. Remember, save early, save often. Uh. Just as I remembered, she go goes into a murderous spree. Bleh. So let's pay the clerk. Here's a hundred dollar bill. Okay, partner. Too bad we don't keep any shades at this time of night. But it's broad daylight. Have a nice day. Yeah, and yet again, I'm a dork. <laughs> 